Hey guys, uh, Landon13 here, and today we are doing a movie review on the 1980 cult classic film, The Shining. This film was made by Stanley Kubrick, and is based on the novel by Stephen King of the same name. So let's get into it, shall we? So basically, the story is very simple. Jack... And his family move in for the winter at the Overlook Hotel. And strange stuff starts to happen. But also Jack starts to lose his um, mind. And eventually wants to kill his family. But at the end he dies from the freezing cold snow. And basically the hotel claims him. So anyways. The plot of the film is very uh, simple you know. Like, Jack is, like, the, the caretaker of the Overlook Hotel, and he's going to stay there and keep the place checked all right. So nothing bad happens, no fires, nothing much. But he also wants to write a book, so it's a perfect place for him. But he also gets informed about the past uh, tragedy at the hotel, like the murders, Grady's murders, you know. But anyways, Jack's like, I promise I will not turn out like that. He does near the end of the film. Anyways, they go to Overlook Hotel. Now, the Overlook Hotel is one of the villains in, in the movie. I know Jack Torrance is the other villain of the movie. And then, and then Calm the Ghost. But the Overlook Hotel is the main antagonist of this film. It's pretty much a living entity of its own. And of course it knew that uh, Danny has the shine. And basically it wants to go through Jack to do its spitting. So so basically it can do more killing murders, you know if I mean. Ha <laughs> ha. But anyways, the title, The Shining. It actually gives us a good explanation why it's called The Shining. Because... These people have special gifts, special powers called the Shining. Anyways, they can um, look into the future, or they can, or they can um, do like telepathy, like through their minds. Um, we don't really see much of the shine shining in this movie, but Danny uses it a lot in this film. But we don't really see him using much of it. He uses it to um, contact Dick Halloran to the hotel. Uh, Tony shows him uh, visions of the future, what's going to be happening at the hotel. And of course, he can also see the spirits of the hotel for the shine. Basically, the fast victims of the hotel itself. And basically, it gives us a lot of iconic scenes like Jack and Wendy on the staircase. Sorry, staircase. The blood elevator, the red rum on the door, his Johnny scene, um, the the hedge mage scene, um, all those things is just excellent. And this film is really good. The performance of Jack Nicholson is just 10 out of 10. He starts out just normal, you know, he's just there to write a book and, and be the caretaker of the hotel. But slowly through the film, he's starting to lose his insanity and mind. Eventually leads to his uh, death at, in the hedge maze in the, in the winter cold. And basically, you know, he's an alcoholic. And after when he uh, dislocated Danny's shoulder... Um, he bowed to never drink again, but eventually he was not coping very well. Um, the insanity and everything else. And he goes back to drinking with the Jack Daniels. And eventually he goes on a crazy rampage that kills Jack Hallin Halliard Ken. So I can't pronounce the name, but he does kill one person, but... But when Wendy and Danny get away, the hotel's like, well, you failed us, boy. Now you're us. Now you're off. Sorry. Now you're going to be ours forever. So the hotel claims him and, well, he dies in the snow. Um, this film has a lot of mystery to it. There's one mystery of how the hell did Jack got out of the freezer? 
I know that Mr. Grady's uh, voice was, was behind the freezer door. But how did he get out? We never see the other person on the other side. So this must be the only paranormal thing in the hotel. But the rest of the film, we don't really see much of it. Well, we do, but through Jack's mind or Danny's mind. And eventually Wendy sees all the crazy stuff in the hotel for herself. So all the spirits are like showing up and the hotel is alive and shit's going all crazy and stuff, you know? Uh, the actor who plays Danny in this film is good. He um, has a mercenary friend called Tony. And Tony doesn't want to go to the Overlook for a reason. Shows Danny all these horrific uh, visions that's going to be happening. It all happens. And eventually they do get out, you know. But, but uh, Wendy and Danny are like traumatized. Especially Danny after the whole thing at the uh overlook and then we get wendy who's the mother of danny and the husband of jack and she is just amazing if you did not know this she was actually pushed to her limits those are real tears she was crying so much that she couldn't even cry anymore on set so all that was real and Dan Stanley Kubrick must have pushed her that hard for her to um get this iconic role in this film. Now the horror is there. You just the horror is more of the um insanity and the isolation and what happens when you're isolated in this lonely place for all of winter and you just go mad, you know. I know at the start Jack doesn't go mad, but eventually he goes insane. Then we got some iconic uh, music, like the opening shot for The Shining with the music. You know what I'm talking about. And then, and then you got that um, Midnight, uh, The Stars Are You song. During the ballroom scene and at the end credits. During, actually, the end of the movie shows us Jack in the ballroom. At the Overlook Hotel in 1920. Wait, no, it's. Oh, 1921. So, a lot of mysteries are surrounding this film. Basically, Jack gets claimed by the hotel. Now he's one of the spirits there. Of course, he's also claimed into the past. So, basically, a lot of stuff happens. And of course, Danny's story, the Overlook Hotel, the ghost. Um, is their story is not done yet as we see in the sequel Dr. Sleep the sequel to Stanley Kubrick's The Shining and of course the book adaptation of Stephen King's The Shining but we're not going to be doing that review that review will be coming don't worry and if you did enjoy this movie review Check out my other reviews. I did Stephen King's It. It Chapter 1 and 2 reviews are on the channel. Um, check out my other reviews and my TV show reviews. They're awesome. Also, check out my other content. You'll get the greatest thing. But anyways. So give this video a like. Click the notification bell and click the subscribe button to become a team 13. Really helps out the channel a lot. But that's uh, Landon13 signing off now. Bye bye.